Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and today we are going to be installing an external graphic card on our laptop. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of a story time before we jump into that. A couple of days ago I uploaded a video and completely forgot to enable my audio channel before I uploaded. Now mind you, I edit at night sometimes and I tend to mute that channel because I might be listening to something else or doing something else at that time. So needless to say, I uploaded it, scheduled the upload, and I found out the next morning when the first comment was, your audio is messed up. So I'm like, oh man, what did I do? Went back to check, deleted the video because obviously there was no audio, so I quickly had to fix this problem. Now I was at work at this time, so the only access I had to a machine was my virtual machine at home, which you know also has access to the files. Now I'm on my virtual machine, I quickly installed Media Encoder and Adobe Premiere, trying to get this problem fixed. As I'm doing this whole thing, now, for my desktop to encode the video, it takes about like five to six minutes. For my virtual machine to do it because it has no GPU, it took almost two hours just to encode the same exact video. That leads me to this video where we're actually gonna be building a quick little dedicated machine just to export video. So let's get started. All right, so I ended up picking up one of these guys from GearBest, which is about like $45 or so. And what this does, it basically allows the MPCIe to become a PCIe. This way it allows you to stick a graphic card into one of those tiny little slots where your Wi-Fi would be on your laptop. So what we're gonna need is obviously a laptop or some sort of desktop small little form factor computer that supports MPCIe. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing this on the laptop. And the laptop I'm choosing is this old 2006 Acer laptop. You've probably seen it on the channel before when I did the Pi desktop. That's the computer I'm gonna be using. It's got a Core 2 Dual, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the next thing we're gonna need, obviously, is a graphic card itself. Now, I'm gonna be using this old 7950 uh, ATI. Now, this is before AMD bought ATI, so in AMD's term, this is a R270. You could say they renamed it to R270. It's not the newest graphic card, but it's powerful enough for me to encode videos. And also, a power supply. You're gonna need some sort of power supply to run the graphic card independently, so you do need a power supply itself. Now, one of the reasons why I chose this model is because it comes with this really cool ribbon cable that is really thin, so I don't have to really hack up my laptop for this to work. Now, I had one of these old school MPCIe to PCIe before, but obviously it sticks out, it's bulky, it, it doesn't look nice, so this setup together looked pretty good and uh, that's what we're gonna be going with. Now obviously the first thing we're gonna need to do is take apart the laptop and find out where the MPCIe slot is. This way we could coordinate accordingly to figure out where everything should go. Do I need to hack up the case, keep the case open, stuff like that. Now the second thing I need to do, uh, because this is running Pi Desktop, I'm gonna have to reinstall Windows 10 on this machine because I need to use it for Adobe Premiere. Lastly, this does come with this uh, little six pin connector that you need to use to plug into your computer into the power supply, which will enable the power supply to work. All in all, it's pretty easy. If you already plan to use like a smaller graphic card that doesn't require external power, you can actually power it right off this little guy by using this little 12, bar 12 volt barrel connector. Just make sure that when you get the power brick, it's the wattage of your graphic card so it doesn't struggle or it doesn't work. So if you got a 40 watt graphic card like Nvidia 240 or something like that, you're gonna need a 40 watt power brick for a 12 volt. A lot of people have been doing videos for eGPU setups so they could game on their older laptops or put a dedicated graphic card on their laptops. You gotta keep in mind that if you got an MPCIe or even the M.2 SATAs, you're not gonna be able to use all the lanes. Now what that means is this might look like it's able to use 16 uh, lanes, but in reality, because it's an MPCIe, you only could use one lane, so it's one X. And if you got the M.2s, those could use four lanes, so it's four X. You can't get the full 16 X like you would normally on your motherboard. So you gotta mind, you are losing some bandwidth on that, which means you're probably gonna drop some frame rates and stuff like that because it's not able to support the full uh, bandwidth. Now that everything's installed, uh, the first thing we kinda wanna do is get a baseline. Before I put in the graphic card, before I do anything, I wanna get a baseline on what this laptop can do to encode this video and how long it's gonna be. Now I'm not gonna encode the entire video, I'm just gonna get a time frame or estimated time to see how long it's gonna set. All right, so after countless hours of trying to figure out how to get this to work with that, um, yeah, it's not gonna happen. I spent about six hours trying to sort this out and due to the fact it has a dedicated graphic card and PCI lanes and all that stuff, this cannot run that card. So be sure whether you're checking or not what you're gonna be doing, 
and see if your laptop will support it. And I'll leave a link to the forum where I found all this information. So yeah, but instead of using this laptop now, I am actually gonna switch over to this net top right over here. So um, I just put in an SSD because I had another hard drive in here for something else. It's got four gigs of RAM, similar to this guy. And uh, yeah, pretty much, if this is an Intel Atom quad core. This is a dual core to dual. The speed's a little bit different, but yeah, this should be able to work. I have, I'm still installing the operating system, so we're gonna see how that works out to everything. So I finally finished installing Adobe Media Encoder, and the baseline for this Intel Atom is roughly gonna be about 13 or maybe about 14 hours, which is way slower than my laptop that we were just showcasing before. So now I'm just gonna stop this and install this graphic card and see what the baseline would be right after I'm done with that. All right, so now I'm back to the installation process. I ended up swapping out the graphic card for uh, older 5750 because the bigger card, I think it had to do with wattage or something. It didn't really work very well. Now I'm just installing the graphic drivers for the AMD and it does detect another monitor and you see the display. It detects another display, so it's it's working like it should. All right, so I managed to get it working. I, I tried it again, I didn't give up, so I replaced the card with my 7950 and now it's working. I was able to reorganize the wiring and stuff like that and get it working, so check this out. All right, so as of right now, let me zoom in on here and kind of, let me see if I can, and you see it's 7900 series installed, got my big card on right now. Everything's working. Uh, the only thing I really did differently this time was uh, use the connector in the back of the card and connect it to the top and then use the other one from the actual power supply. So, and I also turned this on. So I kept this on before it even booted up. This was being powered on so it would detect the card. And yeah, now it's working. I'm gonna see, uh, I'm gonna run a quick test right now and see if that's gonna improve the times for the encoding. So here's the final verdict. Uh, with this graphic card, it's about an hour and 30 minutes or so. And yeah, I mean, it's it's really being bottlenecked now by the CPU. And uh, I can show you in one second what I mean by that. So here we have the CPU usage and the RAM usage. Now I have four gigs of RAM in this guy, but you see the CPU usage is really high. That's really what's causing the limit as far as the minute, the hour and a half. I don't think it's the GPU anymore, it's probably the CPU. So that's probably the best I could get with this type of setup. But yeah, uh, all in all, installing a graphic card into a little net top, very successful. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, please hit the like button. If you guys have any questions about this, hit up in the comments below. I'm sorry this isn't looking like a normal type of video that I would normally do, but it got really, really frustrating. I kept moving my cameras around, recording. I have so much footage of what happened because it just didn't wanna work that it caused me to just you know stop setting up my tripod and just whip out my camera whenever I wanted to. But yeah, if you are new to this channel, Consider subscribing and also hit that little bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.